Hi everybody, Robert Jones back in the kitchen doing a taste test. What? It's so confusing today. I don't know if this is going to be a taste test video or if it's a cooking video or if it's a combo. Maybe we have a new name, Tasting Cooking. I don't know. Today we have something special, but I'm trying something fun for the holidays. This is the Ninja Cookie Kit. Can you guys see that? Ninja Cookie Kit. The lights are a little shiny. All right, you guys, I found this. I went to the Big Lots, and don't hate me because I just thought these were totally funny. I got a couple of these kits, so this is the first one I thought we'd try out. It is the Ninja Kit. Ninja gingerbread. Okay, guys, so according to this, the Crafty Cooking Kits, as it is, it was a whole $5. Um, kick back the activity, the kicks back pun, very much intended. Gather your family around the kitchen and create Ninja Bread cookies that are fun to eat. Best of all, their special memories will last long after the treats are gone. Mm, the sentiment. Alright guys, so apparently this comes with um, some mixes in it, so just to show you the back here. So it has a uh, cookie mix, it also has a packet of icing mix. The shine is killing me. Some candy beads as they call them, a piping bag, and some ninja cutters. So that's kinda cool, it has all these things in here. Um, for the cookies, you're going to need two tablespoons of butter, a quarter cup of honey, plus two tablespoons of water. So apparently that's what you mix with the mix. And for the icing, you use, uh, what? That's icing mix, but you're also going to need water and powdered sugar. What? I don't know. We'll see. All right, preheat the oven, mix this stuff together. All right, you'll see it along the way. So let's check it out. Let's 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 open this up. I'm curious what's actually inside, just to see it. It says I'm supposed to wash the cookie cutters first, as the first step. I cannot get it open. It's very, very tough. All right. Oh, these are larger than I thought. So it looks like we have some kicking cookie cutters. They're. They're quite big. I thought they were going to be like this big. They're actually like double the size, I thought. All right, we have the candy beads. Candy beads. Looks like we have the piping bag. Um, this is the royal icing mix, which I'm not quite sure what the difference between royal icing mix and powdered sugar is, but we'll figure it out. And then we have, it's a, it's a tiny little bag of this is like one cup. Seriously, that's like one cup of stuff. And I have a feeling it's mostly sugar. All right, let's read the box just in case. Um, enriched flour, barley flour. That's interesting. Blah, blah, blah. Sodium mononitrate. Mmm, yummy. Brown sugar, spices, cane syrup, spices, cinnamon sugar, cloves, allspice. Yeah. And the icing contains sugar, cornstarch, dried egg whites, cream of tartar, natural flavors. All right, let's get to bacon. So the first thing we have to do is we need to uh, wash the cookie cutters according to the directions, and then we're gonna make up the dough. So let's make up the dough, and then we're gonna put it in the fridge. Let's do it. All right, you guys, I got some honey here. It's a little crystallized, but it's making cookies. So I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Put that in there. And then also two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of butter. Okay, so I thought I'd let this cream a little bit. All right, then I've got our one tablespoon of water. And then our cookie mix. Cookie mix. Now, it says it's gonna take a while for this to come together, so let it happen. Too much. Phew! Okay, boy, they were not kidding. Can you guys see this? All right, let me take the let me take the paddle out of here. All right, you guys, can you see this now? This has taken like five minutes of constant beating to get to this to this hard dough stage. They said it was going to take a long time, and they're not kidding. So, yeah, I was almost going to add some more water, but finally it started to come together. So there you go. Okay, so then you want a piece of wax paper and you want to get your dough out of your bowl. Like such. And as my grandma would say, get it all. 
All right, a little bit extra there. Okay. So now you're supposed to take your dough and let it rest for about a half an hour. I'm just pushing it together here. Get the get the air pockets out, and then I'm gonna just make it into a disc, like so, because that's my professional this. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Ta-da! For about half an hour, let it rest, let the everything get absorbed, and let the butter get firm, and then we'll roll it out. All right, see you in half an hour. All right, you guys, it's been half an hour, and I just took the dough out of the fridge. It is a little bit firmer. Now, here comes the super cheat of the day. So this is a very small amount of dough, and according to the, the package, it's supposed to make like 12 to 16 cookies. And here's what I'm saying. It says three sixteenths of an inch thick. I'm saying I'm going to cheat and just put it between the wax paper. I'm not going to do flour. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to roll it out in between and cut some damn cookies. Voila! All right, let's give this a shot. Um, I have a baking sheet here with a piece of Silpat. It's just a silicon thing. You can use a greased tin. You can do whatever you want, but that's what I'm doing. Now, I am gonna cheat a little bit here. I have a big giant bag of powdered sugar, and instead of flour, I'm just going to dip my cookie cutters in the flour, in the sugar, and then try to cut them out. Looks like crap. Yeah, so what they don't tell you is this dough is super duper soft. All right, so I tried to be a smart ass and do it my way, so now I'm gonna do it the traditional way, and that is, let's put some flour, put our dough, maybe not quite so much flour, and roll this out. I guess the dough is really soft. Okay, so doing the traditional method with flour seems to work better with this dough, and I think they anticipated it, so those look better. All right, these do look a little bit better. I'm gonna throw these in the oven. All right, you guys, check it out. I'm following the instructions here. I took these out about a minute ago. It says to wait one minute and then to put them on the cooling rack to continue cooling. So I'm doing that now and trying to cut them apart. They look pretty good, I think. One, two, buckle your shoe. So those are the flower ones. I think they look pretty darn good. And I should have done that for this, but I was dumb and trying to trying to be tricky. Don't be tricky. Follow the instructions. All right, we're gonna let these cool, and then we will make some decoration. All right, you guys, we're on the box, and it says here for icing, two and a half teaspoons of water, half a cup of powdered sugar, plus the packet. Dissolve mixing bowl, add the sugar, use a fork. Okay, reread the directions. Dissolve icing mix in water in a small bowl. Add powdered sugar and mix with a fork. I don't know, that <laughs> looks pretty, pretty stiff to me. That's following the instructions. All right, I'm gonna go for another half a teaspoon. That's a little bit better. I still think it's a little. I think my powdered sugar might be a little dry. Still think it's a little, a little thick. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit more. Okay, guys, I think we are at a better consistency now. I can actually see that that could be piped. All right. I am going to put this in the piping bag and change batteries and then we'll do some decorating with the royal icing. Okay guys, we're over here at the counter so I can sit down and work on these cookies. Um, we had a little mishap on the way over here. I broke a man. We're going to set him aside. Sorry about that. 
I also, well, there's another leg. I don't know where that goes. I broke the heart. I was gonna make a, I was gonna make a nice little heart. It broke. We'll set it over there. So we're left here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're left with a dozen cookies. You guys can see all the gingerbread men's. All right, I'm gonna set those aside and make some room here so we can make some action happen. All right, those are the side. Okay, so I was gonna do this off camera, but then I thought, you know what? Maybe you guys wanna see this. So here's our royal icing, and here is a glass setup, as they said to do it. Um, it's got the bag inside. So I uh, stirred up the royal icing here. It looks, looks pretty good. It might be a little bit thick, but hey, we'll figure it out. And here you go. Here's my best attempt at trying to do what the box did at the front. So here's the box. Hiya, everybody kicking and kung fu fighting. And bada, everybody kicking and kung fu fighting. Kicking and kung fu fighting. Kicking and kung fu fighting. Now let me show you my interpretation of not undoing the box. And now, when you're not imitating the box, here's what you get. You get three dancers at the top. Whoop, knocking the camera. Three dancers, one with a hat, one with jazz pants, one with Christmas pants. 
You get to have All Natural Man, which is made with rice and lentils, no candies. You get the What the Hell and All My Stuff is Falling Off Hula Skirt. You get the I Can't Possibly Be Bothered Because I'm Almost Out of Frosting. You get the Modern Interpretation of That Came Out Really Great. And then the Broken Hearts Club of Wow, I Have a Piece of Dough Left and I Don't Know What to Do With It. There you go! Oh, I'm tired. This was supposed to be like a two hour project. It's now turned into a six hour project, but you know what? It is the moment you've been waiting for. I have one of my cookies here. It is so not the ninja. It is ugly hula man, and I don't care because I'm saving the ninjas for a, a gathering later. But I wanted to taste this um, on camera for you guys. I'm, I've been smelling them for like six hours. Um, the only thing I added different was some blue sugar. To make like a hula skirt, hula skirt. All right, so let's give it a taste. Okay, honestly, it's edible, but it's not really that good. Um, it's not very spicy. The sugar is fine, but you definitely taste the egg in there on the egg and the um, frosting. It's a little weird, and then. Um, Oh, that's okay. That's horrible. The little colored balls are like fruit flavored. Ooh, taking that off. All right, have another bite of leg. Okay. Overall, I just the kid is fine. I probably went way overboard and did like 13 decorating cookies. And a whole bunch. I keep looking over at them sitting there and it took me like most of the day to do this because I'm trying to make a video and trying to make it nice nah, for you guys but anyway all right you guys a fun little project I think if you did this with your kids you could have the whole project done and over in an hour or two um, if you're not trying to film it like I am and decorate and be all crazy but anyway so there you go there's my product review for the ninja I'll keep I'll keep wanting to go get the box or something but Forget it. All right, you guys. I'm Robert Jones. What do you think of this project? Um, would you do something like this, or would you rather stick to the traditional? I think I would do traditional instead and do some stuff on my own instead. The kit's kind of funky. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know. Have you guys used one of these kits, or do you want to for Christmas? What's going on in your kitchen? I'm Robert Jones. You guys can find me everywhere as Eudaimonious or Eudaimonious Mark II. E U D A E M O N I U S M A R K I I. Hope you guys check out my blog, and I'll see you next time. Bye.